This is my 20th season. Uh, pretty excited about this season. It's gone really well. You know, this being the last show of the season, I think we've finally seen seen this season audiences pick up. Uh, we're we're very excited about that. Uh, we we drew well at the uh, at the beginning of the season with uh, Till Beth do his part, and then the last show we produced was Crimes of the Heart. Uh, we saw attendance really rise, and I'm looking for a, for a wonderful end of the season for the end of my 20th. So now I go into my 21st season as producing artistic director and we'll see where that takes us. I've got a five year plan now and hopefully we'll, we'll achieve those goals in the next five years. So we've got um, at this date probably two and a half weeks before we open and the set is under construction and uh, we're pretty excited. Uh, right now we, we had a stumble through last night which is pretty much actors uh, trying to figure out where they're moving, what they're doing, uh, and all that good stuff. And now we're moving towards uh, working spots. The story of the Foreigner is about Charlie. And he is a friend of Froggy, Lesseur, who Froggy uh, is in the military, and Charlie was in the military with him. And he decides he's going to take Charlie for a trip to an old fishing lodge that he used to uh, go to in Georgia. And then Charlie realizes that he just doesn't want to be there. He wants to be back with his, with his wife, but his wife has had extramarital affairs and she doesn't want him back. So uh, he's pining for his wife and Froggy tries to make things better for him. And uh, he, so he brings him to this place uh, run by Betty Meeks, who, Char who Froggy has known for a long time. There we go! Oh, this is the old place, all right. <laughs> Oh. Hello, Bet. Betty, my love. What happens is Charlie, uh, because he doesn't want to be there, and Froggy wants him to be there. Froggy talks him into staying for a while. He gets to talking to Betty and and realizes that it might be to uh, to Charlie's advantage that if, uh, if Charlie wanted to relax, that Froggy would tell Betty to let everybody know that this guy doesn't speak a word of English. And it just takes off from there. It's a comedy of errors, I think, in many respects. And I, uh, I like the discoveries in the play. Uh, the humor is just brilliant. And uh, it's just right up my alley in terms of what I like. Uh, when you when you look for comedies. Well we produced The Foreigner back in the late 90s and did extremely well with it. I always wanted to bring it back but didn't know when a good time would be. And then I started looking at the people who have uh, worked at Bunbury in the last uh, three or four years and I thought I could come up with a great cast for it and we did and so now here we are again uh, producing The Foreigner it's a very popular play, so it's had a lot of productions all over the country. But it's popular because the writing is so good. And I think that is the key. If the writing is good, then, uh, then you've got something. And, and so uh, we're real excited about doing it again. We close on the 26th, and then we, uh, we're doing a co-production with uh, Actors' Choice Theater. They're a new company. And we're doing a production of Equus, which runs at the end of July, first week in August. And uh, we're excited about that because it is a collaboration. And then we'll turn around and gear up for our 26th season. You can call us at 585-5306 uh, for season tickets. You can go to the website, which is www.bunburytheater.org. You can call me on my cell No, don't call me on my cell phone. But uh, those are the best ways to get season tickets or actually come see The Foreigner. You come see The Foreigner, you'll get an additional discount for season tickets and it's a great way to, uh, to help support us, see a show, and then get excited about the upcoming season.